Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing this morning? I'll tell you, Pisces, I want to say thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here this lovely morning. That's number one. Number two is I love you, and I hope you're having a blessed morning. And Pisces, I've been taking this medication for this allergy that I've had, that I've never had this bad in my whole entire life. And it knocks me out, and I got to take it. I, I have to take it. Now, during the weekend, I can't take it like I'm supposed to because I have to work, and it makes me real drowsy. And um, I went and got tested yesterday for my allergy. I went to a specialist because they saying that I got this really bad thing going on. And it's, whew, you know, it hurts my gums. It hurts my head. I can't breathe. I, my throat, my ears, everything is going crazy. So, I just want to say, when you, as you get older, things start happening. And just love yourself, Pisces. And all I got to say is, please don't, don't pass away not loving yourself and, and living for somebody else. Love yourself. Do, do that for yourself. You owe that to yourself. You know? And, um, I just... I just love what I do. I truly love what I do. I was talking to Felicia. Shout out to you, Felicia, this morning. And she works about an hour away from my house. And what she got time to do is sleep and then go to work and come back and get her sleep because she works so far. She got to get up extra early to go to work. But that is what you call being faithful and waiting patiently for that opening to open closer to where she lives. And, you know, everybody knows they've been watching me. I took a long time to go back. Actually, y'all didn't even know that when I was uh, took this long time to go back to work because it happened during COVID. Once COVID hit, I stopped working at that job because we all did. And, um... And I didn't go back to now. And I always had the weekends off. I had so much time. And believe it or not, I, I did all, spend all my time doing my YouTube. Because that's when really I opened up this YouTube. Even though I did do readings. But um, I um, didn't uh, do it like on YouTube. You know? And the job that I, I go to every day now, they're the people that believed in me and believe in this work that I was doing. And the same house I work in right now is the same house that I was doing all these readings for. It's crazy, but that's where I started. So, and they're the people that believe in me. Believe in me. When I tell you believe in me, I walk in there in the morning I pray because I'm in there by myself and I pray in the restaurant by myself. I'm in there at four in the morning. I pray by myself and I ask God to bring the people that's supposed to come in there and bring them humble and that we can feed the people and that they can be in a good place in their life. And if there's anybody that I need to touch or um, say whatever I need to say to them, let it, let, let, Bring them to me. Choose them for me. And I've done many, many readings there. So that place to me is home. And the owner is getting older now. And um, I pray for him all the time. I really do. That That place has taught me so much. And the generation that are there now are young. But I also have to understand that they're, they're teenagers. They are in high school. And they're just starting their journey. And um, sometimes I feel like um, it's like I'm in a zoo. But God don't put you in places that you don't belong in. And I guess I'm there to, to be um, patient and be a teacher and teach these kids. Um, and I have to be strong to do that because I got a strong personality. And I, sometimes I can go on 10 real quick. But 
I, I just, when I go on 10, that scripted, I go on 10 because I let them know exactly how I feel about them. Exactly. And I don't sugarcoat nothing. And so what if they get mad? I have to take Mr. Jerome. You know who that is? My son. Mm -hmm. My son going there like he got some sense because my son is humble. And he sits them down and he let them know, don't you ever play with my mother. Ever. That's what my son do. And everything stops. They don't even play. They don't play. All right? Because I got a thing that says, I'm not arguing with you. You go get your mother and this is my address. And you better go ahead and bring a whole, and I say it like that to them. You better go get your military when you come to my house because I'm not playing. I let them know that. And I mean it. I give them my address and say, put it in your mother's hand. Go get your military because you don't need one. That's the way I do it. I do not play that. Uh-uh. You don't, you don't act crazy with me. It stops. So I love them, but I have to teach them the hard way of the love. Because you can't play with me and I'm too nice to you. And that goes with my YouTube too. I love you to pieces. And there's a lot of people on my YouTube that I love. And I know I'm hard on them. Right? Because I see the potential in them. But you got to understand that the rest of the work comes within you. And I'm here every time you take your fall. I'm here every time you need that shoulder to cry on or to talk to. I'm here for you. But I'm also here for you to hear what I need to say to you that you may not like. Okay? But I'm mama. Mama will always be here. Okay, mother will be here for you. Grandmother, mother, aunt, sister, whatever you want to call me, I will be here for you. But you got to understand that I'm going to tell you what you don't want to hear and I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. But I want to build you to be strong in your foundation and that you can love, but you can't give your soul. Okay, because sometimes we can't help who we love. But we cannot sell our soul. Our soul is ours and it's not for sale. And that's what you need to learn. Okay? So, Pisces, let's get popping with this reading. Pisces, I want y'all to know that I have a lot of other YouTube readers that um, I um, literally feel like, um, literally feel like, Uh, um, um, literally, I, and let me tell you, they remind me of me so much. I just feel like I have come into a school of tarot readers that are just like me. I'm not better. They're just like me. I want to introduce y'all to these readers. And one thing I want y'all to promise me, you don't tell them I send you. Don't tell them I send you. I just want you to go there and watch them. You know why? Because God says, you don't have to tell them who I am. You just need to go there. And I tell you no lie, when I watch them, they remind me so much of me. I don't go a day without watching them. I don't. I make it my business to watch them. And they're young. They're young. And please, I want to introduce y'all to them. I introduce you to one I have. But there's another one <laughs> that I want you to introduce to. And he works and he does this. And he is on fire. Fire! 
I got, and they both uh, echo that voice in your soul. In your soul. It's like an echo that echoes to you in your soul. And when you got a reader that can echo in your soul, that's the one. Because God says, not everybody can speak my word and follow my light. And they're chosen ones that do it. And I tell you no lie. I promise you, Pisces, these two readers are chosen ones. They're chosen. And if I tell you they're chosen, they're chosen. Like I said, please, don't you dare tell them I sent you there. Go knock on that door. Sit down. Listen to them. They're going to guide you. They're going to guide you. Do you understand? And guess what, Pisces? There's a lot of you that watch me. They got a gift. And you need to do it. You need to read them. Learn from me. And open up your YouTube and read your tarot's. Because you got so much to show people. So much to give. Please, read your tarot. It's not hard. You were born with this gift. Do it. I promise you. You will be good at what you do. And you will open up many people's hearts to receiving your gifts that need to be given. Don't you be afraid to do it. And that is God's work to you. Do you understand? There's no need to say, I sent you. Because God says, you don't have to say it. You just got to go there. Tell me what you think. I will give you their names. I already gave you one. Um, I do have this young lady that I, she's Spanish just like me. And she's been through a lot, just like me. And she's been doing readings for a long time. Um, when I tell you, she's just like me. She's just like me. Very spiritual. And she lives in another dimensional. And a lot of times she doesn't speak. About the deep parts of her. But she's been in the same place as I've been at. And that's why I'm telling you. A lot of them people that you think. They go into these institutional. Where they think that. Something wrong with them. They're born with gifts. But we can't help all the spirits that we see. And because you got to get these spirits in the orders. Right? And they're the spirits that talk to you negative. But once you get everybody in order, you will become like this. And you will share your gifts. Because we live in another dimensional world. And her name is Susan. And she's Spanish. And when she reads you, she speaks a lot about that second and that dimensional world that she lived in and what she went through. And it's true, because that's what I did. Um, I see people think we're crazy. We're not. A lot of y'all never even made it there. Thank God you didn't. And a lot of y'all made it there. Okay? But, <laughs> let me tell y'all, Pisces, people commit suicide over this, right? Because people got to stay medicated. And because they, it's like they, it's an imbalance in your life, right? And But once you know 
where that imbalance is at. And sometimes you go in these places where God comes and literally talks to you. Because you always got the devil telling you what to do. But when you got that special gift, God pulls you out. And he changes your life for eternity. And Susan is one of those tarot readers. And I'm going to say it to you again. Susan is one of those tarot readers. She doesn't do no reading and she lives very close to me. And she's Spanish just like I am. And I'm going to give you her link. And I'll tell you no lie. She's the only tarot female reader. That is in this dimensional world like I'm in. And I'm going to say it again. The only. And it's billions of us. And she's the only one. That's in that dimensional reading. Spiritual. Dimensional reading. Reading like I am. There's another reader, and her name is Pisces TV. She changed her name, changed her YouTube a while back, and she went back. I seen her. And she is a tarot reader. If you want to go into a school of tarot and just watch her and learn. And I don't mean take her class, I mean watch her and learn. You will learn. Because when you watch her, it's almost like you're in a college of tarot. I'm giving you these people's names. Okay? I'm giving it to you. And I don't normally give, I, I, don't, I don't do that. Okay? But these people, very close to my heart. Very close to my heart. And I'm going to say, I range them on the top of tarot. When I mean top, I mean top. I mean in a spiritual level. I'm going to say it again. Susan is on the top level of a spiritual reader. Do you understand? And anyone else under that, I'm talking about wizards. I'm not talking about a top. I'm talking about wizards. God is on top, and then you have archangels, and then you got angels. I'm talking about right under God is Susan, like me. And then under that, you got these wizards. And these wizards are considered Teachers, right? Just like I consider familiar with is terrible. She means very close to me, but she's not like Susan. No, she's more like, I won't even say like Pisces TV. She's in a class by herself, right? She talks to you about these paths, paths. Pass. But if she can change and say the past ain't shit and move on to the future because it ain't no need to be in the past. The past would never be good. Ever. Right? But she's good. And some of y'all can relate to what she says in her own way. And these two men that I'm telling you that I, I'm going to introduce to y'all, they're wizards. They're these teachers that are teaching you on a spiritual level. But not like Susan. No. They're these. Like you're going to Harry Potter school. It's like that. It's not like Susan. No. It's not like Familiar Witches Terror. And it's not like Pisces TV. No, 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 no. It's like right there. But Susan, she's there. And she's with me. And I'm not saying that these readers are not good. I'm just saying that God puts us in different levels in our life. I'm going to say it again. I never said that it wasn't good. 
I'm only telling you, it's on a spiritual level, and everybody ain't got that. And I've always used to say, I would take any reader on my spiritual level to the ocean, and they would never be able to withstand me. Ever. But Susan, she walks on the water. Walks on the water. On the deepest parts of the ocean, she can walk right on the top. And if I say that to y'all, she is huge to me. Do you understand? I love her. I truly do. All right, Pisces, let's get popping. I don't know why I had to tell y'all this. And the only reason why I'm saying this to y'all is because in front of me right here on my desk, on my altar, where God stands, I got the seven chakras. And for some reason, God is telling me to let you know where you need to be in these readers that are there to help you. Like I tell you all the time, Pisces. I tell you this all the time. I asked the universe. I asked. And I know that it's going to say Yes, I heard you to take me in my sleep. I don't want to make it to the hospital. I want to be gone in my sleep. I don't need nobody watching me because the only one that will be watching me will be Lulu, my dog, and Jojo, and my bird. The only ones. And there's so many more like me out there. Archangel, show the art. Please show me what I need to see. Archangel, show the art. Get flying out, Pisces. Show me what I need to see. I love you all, Pisces. Something is pointing down at me. Pisces, I went and redid my online store, but today ain't the time to talk about the online store. There is a full moon outside. Today is the third day. Get out there and do your rituals. Write your letters. Burn them to the universe. Because once you get into your spirituality, trust and believe in me, God will not let you go without putting him first. And when you get there, he will remind you that he is first in your life. Okay? He will remind you that. And I mean that. You will hear him. You will see him. He will show you who he is. If you put him first. And always first. Remember you're human. And you can't help what you love. But you can believe in the universe. And once he stares you that way. You will never disappoint him. When I mean never, never. It won't be a human on this world that will make you turn your back on God. And I promise you that. You think I'm playing with you? I'm not playing with you. I speak the truth. All right? I speak the truth. Nothing can take you off the track that God will put you on. Nothing and no one will do it. It ain't a dick or puts in this world that will turn you to God. And say, you're not first in my life. Trust me when I tell you. Been there, done that. Okay? Trust me. When I tell you, I said to you. Couple readers back. That God pulled me. When I went to take a leap of faith. And he said, not this time. And it was a dog. That yanked my ass back and said, you will not jump that. 
and that was a couple days ago and ever since then I don't know what God has for me but he told me before I leave this earth he was completing my my list that's what he said that's what he said to me and that's what I know okay here we go Pisces I love you take the right route don't you let no devil make decisions for you. Nothing in your past. Nothing in your past. That's why it's called X and past. Would you see the light? If you got to stop and look before you continue to walk, you're not ready to make a move. All right? But if you keep going and you don't look back, then you'd have made the move. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. You take your time and do what you got to do. But I'm going to say it again. If you got to stop to look And what you leaving behind, you're not ready. But if you continue to go without looking back, then you made the right decision. Okay? Remember that. You can't play with God. The first call you got is the charity. And I said it. You're driving. You want to make that decision on which way you're going. There's two ways. There is two ways that you're going to have to decide. But it's only one road. That's the right road. If you make the wrong decision, You will repeat the lesson. But if you make the right decision, God promise you everything. And you know what, Pisces? I don't know who I'm talking to. But you're not ready. You're not ready. This is major in your life. The more you decide to look back, the more you will be where you're at. The more lessons you have to learn. The charity is saying it's a fast moving energy. One of the fastest. This is a bike. This ain't an airplane. This ain't a car. It's a bike. Okay? It's a bike. The path is beautiful. It's paved. But you're going to have to make a decision. And do you understand? And, and the reason why I know you're not ready because the other cars are telling me. Right? Now, check it out. On what path you see castles, home, the other path is not telling you what's there. The reason why there's a path with a castle or a house or whatever it is there is because you're familiar with that path. The other path that you don't know that's not showing you what's there is the path you should take. Did you get what I said? And this is supposed to be the fastest moving energy, but you on a bike. Now tell me how fast a bike go next to a car. Tell me how fast a bike go next to a plane. Right? It don't go faster than that. It can't go faster than that. All right? But there's two streets. And the streets are green. But one side of the street 
you got this familiar place that makes it, it seems like, it feels like it's calm to you. But when you get in that door, you're going to see that it's not going to last. That's on you. That's not my life. That's your life. Okay. Then somebody here maybe got a tea reading, reads tea, watches somebody reads tea readings. Whatever it is, when I was locked up in jail, I used to read the tea cup, the tea cup. Because I didn't have tarot cards. Right? So I used to read teacups. Out of tea leaves. So after I got done drinking my tea. I would bust the bag. And then spin it on the styrofoam cup. And then I used to read it to the people. Right? But somebody here. Watches somebody read tea leaves. Or get tea readings. Or I don't know. Somebody got a tea reading. Right? So, whoever it is, honey, it's got fish on this, and it's the Queen of Cups. You may be watching somebody do readings like me. Right? Somebody's trying to tell you something here, and it's the Queen of Cups, somebody that loves you. Somebody that reads for Pisces. All right? Now, we got a lot of tarot readers that read all signs. But this person reads for Pisces and only Pisces. All right? Mm. Okay, so somebody deals with crystals, stones. Somebody talk about crystals and stones. Somebody um, reads a lot, okay? But, um,. When I tell you they love themselves, they love Pisces. Whoever this reader is that reads for you. Right? Seems like somebody here seems to be going through this wave of emotions. And maybe a little cloudy. Why I say that? Because you got the seven. The ability to make the right choice. Because they seem to be moving some type of way the way you want. Or, or maybe you feel like you're in control of this. But you got to make the right decisions. Then you watch tarots. You watch somebody read tea leaves, read tarots. And telling you. Look, they pointing at it. They telling you right on the nose. You want to hear something? This is funny that I say this. But when I read these tarots, I can literally call my Pisces that I talk to on a day-to-day -day base and tell you exactly what you're doing. And I don't lie to you. I tell you the truth. Because the Spirit is telling me, is you, right? But you're going through a little cloud. But this emotional ride there, it feels good. You may be in a predicament where people are coming back. And the reason why I know they're coming back. Because you get the Six of Cups. Right? There's a woman and a man. There's people here, your past, you know, but it says making that decision, that decision to what? Let's see, you know, like I'm going to come back and I'm going to make this and I'm going to make that and I'm going to have fun and this, but the reason they do that is Pisces is because they want to know that somehow I still got that with you. Right? And sometimes this can be anybody. Most of the time it's people that you love because Pisces, we don't get down with everybody. It got to be people we love. It can, this can be, um, I don't know, you, it's like saying you got a whole new thing coming and you always did. But 
for some reason, you have this old thing that sits there. And it could be your kids. It could be a job. It could be anything. But what I'm saying is, somebody said, you know, it feels good. But how long does it feel good for? How long does this feel good for? What I do want to say and what I will continue to tell you is, I'm take it from me. I'm telling you because I've done it. Right? Um, I always felt like I had this connection with this person. But what I found out is, and I don't know why this says, Door rolls open right in front of me. It says rolls open. Next to it, it says tank tranquility. Rolls open. Calmness. It says black salt protection. This is all what it says right here. Okay. But there's a choice, and it's this wide street of, of, of opportunities. And then it's this narrow choice. It's like you feel at home. When you with this person. But the, the street with the wild opportunity. Is what you don't never think about. Because you, you watching these readings. You getting them and they trying to tell you. But we cannot force you to do. What you don't want to do. Because that's your heart. That's your being. That's what you want. Right. And that's what's coming. It's like you so familiar with this person. It's like this, this person. It's like this person may have a thing for you, but but you got a bigger thing for them. It's like you got a soft spot in your heart, but you think that you can control it, but you can't. All right? Now, I normally pull out different cards, but for some reason, it says work on his debt. Let's work with it. All right? I don't know why it's telling me to stay on his debt. Now, come on now. Come on now, because I wanted to do this very different. I started late. The Queen of Pentacle Pisces under that charity. So, your life is being built because you built it coin by coin. And the Queen of Pentacles is someone that loves, someone that nurtures, someone that does and does and does. Queens are there to... Be patient. It's like you have a lot of patience for this situation. Patience means this, this person can do whatever they want and come back whenever they want. And you know that the darkness lives in them. And they can bring darkness to you. Right? But it's for some reason, the darkness is not overpowering you because you feel like you can be this mother figure, this care figure, this... Uh, I can take care of this. I can nurture this somehow, some way. It'll change one day. It'll be different. It, it will be different. And just because you tell somebody about themselves or what you see and what they've done to you don't mean shit. It means shit to you. It don't mean shit to them. You know why it don't mean shit to them? Because they're going to remind you of it. And a lot of times they make you look like you're crazy and you're stupid and you're dumb. And it, it, it happened. Yes, it did happen. They got amnesia. Oh, no, it didn't happen. Yes, it did. If you can write a book and give it to them or everything they did to you, your book will be chapters after books, after series, after series. Yes, it will be. Because you got a lot to say and been through a lot and seen a lot. But you work hard, Pisces. You're the queen of creativity. And the good thing is you got angels around you. You got these um, rabbits and angels. And it's telling you, Pisces, man, make the right choice. Come on now. And a lot of y'all say, well, you know what? Since I've been there before, been there before. And, and let me tell you something. Let's get this right. Some of y'all was in relationships, right? Right? And been on two relationships for the longest. Been on two routes for the longest. It's like somebody been on two routes with the longest with you. Right? That means you had two people all along. They had whatever it is. It's somebody that had two people in life all along. 
And then them dumb two people that they had along, whether you the spare tire or the main tire. I don't know what you want, all right? But it's been a working process. In the meantime and in between time, you got to make that money. You got to figure out how you're going to live, how you're going to do this and do that. Because when you are in situations like this, you are the one that's the one that holds up your home, right? But you got to make a decision and make it make sense, Pisces. Come on now. It's like been there on two avenues at the same damn time. And I still, <coughs> a lot of y'all been in relationship and got a relationship and now on this corporate world of working because you bought a home. You got to pay your bills, right? So a lot of y'all moved on to my career and left this alone. But a lot of y'all always stayed in two paths. That means you have two different people or maybe more than two in your life. And these it's like you you in the same circle of, of people that can't make decisions because that's what you used to, the same circle of people. But then you got this main person that you put there and you got these other people that you use for when this main person wants to act up a fool in your life. They don't do shit for you. But fuck you and use you and let, leave you for dead whenever they want to. It's like you trash them, really. But you believe everything they say. In the meantime, you got to make your money and live and pay your bills and rent. Because, honey, these people, you're lucky if they give you anything. They bread from you, but they damn sure know how to eat you good. I speak the truth. Don't play with me. Been there and done that. Okay? Been there and done that. Do you know how many times I've been a mother? I ain't got these people that I laid in the bed with. I was a damn near their mother taking what? Pacifying them. Put my titties in their mouth. Put my what? You're not my child. My child takes care of his own damn self and his own family. I raised a I raised a I raised a man. I didn't raise a kid. My son is a man. Okay, get it correct though. I raised a man. My son was raised by women. He was raised by the best of the best. By me, his father's mother, his father's uh, sister. He was raised by women. There were real fire women. I may not like his grandmother. And I ain't going to say I don't like her. I may not like her ways or the ways of his aunt. But God knows I don't hold no grudge. God knows I don't. But he was raised right. He was raised to take care of his business. I didn't raise a son to, to lean on a woman to take care of them or lean on a woman to support them. I, don't, I didn't raise a child like that because I was not raised like that. But these are the kind of men that you get. And you, all you do is feed them your body and your soul. And then you got these connections that they're connected to. And then a lot of y'all are connected to a lot of other connections. And you got one of them, one in a thousand that say, I'm going to go and I'm going to make my job my connection. And I'm not lying to you. Been there and done that. I say to y'all the truth. Been in relationship where I always had a spare time. But I'll tell you what. And there's no damn lie. I pay for that shit because I never got, I never play nobody. I got play while I was playing them. And another thing is, I straight my life and I live for God. And I say, if I can't have them, I have God. And God is my food, what I breathe, what I eat, what I drink, everything. And whatever's meant to me will not pass me. And that's what you need to know. And a lot of y'all got your life all fucking confused. Your body it's everybody's temple. And y'all think y'all doing right. Because y'all can't help yourself. I do apologize if I'm talking like this. But it is what it is. I can't show cold shit. I call it like I see it. You are everything. You're the breadwinner. You're the one that's taking care of your damn self. But you got a choice. 
And this is fast moving. And because you feel like they come in your life again. And you don't know what to choose. So you work like a dog. And you give your body like it's candy. Okay. And a lot of y'all broke up. Separated. Divorced. All that. And still making. Still had what you had when you was with that. And playing games. And this reading may not be for everybody. But if, if the shoe fit, wear it. All right? If the shoe fit, wear it. Because it, it ain't for me. I lived this life already. It ain't me. Okay? All right? So you got the four cups. Look at this shit. The queen of cups. Who's taking care of who? Tell me who. Who? The queen of cups. Give somebody everything. It's like you you do everything for everybody. For these people that are worthless. Because you still don't know which way to go. Now, for a lot of Pisces, you have made your life to go this way. And this way is, I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on my career. And if I meet somebody, I meet them. But in the meantime, I need to focus on me. And I need to cleanse myself from all the dicks that collected many pussies. All right? And so, you got the four and you cater and you love. Right? The queen of cops. Remember, you got the queen of pentacles. The one that brings the money in. The breadwinner that does everything. And then you got this man sitting. Right? The four cops. It don't look to me like he's sitting there talking about, um, it looks to me like saying, I'm happy where I'm at with, with, with the queen of cups, right? But I'm bored. I need more excitement. And when somebody gets bored and, and they need more excitement, you know what they do? They go out there and do the same thing they did to you before. It's like they, with you, you got everything to give them. Everything to give them. But you can never keep them in place because they always seem to want more. Make it make sense, Pisces. Make it make sense. And you watch your readers, but it seems like it's not sinking into you. You know why? Because you're still living this life that you seem that it's like it's, that's the only thing you know. It's like this, you can give this person, you watch YouTube, you, YouTube is trying to tell you, you watch, I don't know who you watch, I don't know, right? But you got somebody that's, they can't even be happy where they at, they can't be happy with who they with, they can't be happy with you, they can't be happy with nobody. Because they bored everywhere they go, they need more excitement to make them happy. And it don't mean that you're a bad person, it don't mean the other person's a bad person or the new person. It means that they never... Satisfied ever, right? Now, check it out. This car fell upside down, and I'm not gonna turn it until I read these two. That it's up, but Pisces, I don't know. You sitting there, hang the man, the hang one. You the one that's hang one. You see the vines, you looking up at the ceiling, baby. Right? The vines. You know what vines do? They grow wild. You stuck. But I don't even see you stuck. You just hanging there. Just hanging there because I guess you feel like somebody's in love again with you. They make you feel good again. Right? The fool. Oh my God. Is this crazy or what? The fool. Now watch this shit. You ready? The fool. I'm not lying. Check it out. Somebody got a white dog. Somebody had a white dog. Somebody got a dog. I don't know. Right? They walking out the door. They got the key, the car keys in their hand. They got um the wallet, whatever. They walking out that door. The fool wants to, again, walk out the door. Remember I told you. Pisces, you want to take a leap of faith because you loyal. But you've been there. Like, 
Ani is telling you, Pisces, the sun is shining. You see the mountains. The mountains are showing you. You've been through a lot. I told y'all before I did this reading that God, I was getting ready to take that leap of faith to fool. That's what I was going to do that day. And God pulled me back. And it was this pull. And I swear to you, it felt like my King Corso that passed away. Pull me back. And I tell the story all the time. I can't stop talking about it. It just happened like four or three days ago. I felt this pull that says, don't you dare. I gave you many times to go there and you learned the lesson. This time we're not doing it. You know why? Because for some reason, when my sister passed away and my in this funeral they had for my sister, we had, I bought some there that I bought somebody there that I never, ever, 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 ever for all the years that I've been seeing this man, I never introduced him to my whole family. I swear to you, never. And he came there and it was something else. After that, it was like I had an eye opener and my sister. Well, if I can hear conversation from the outside, I never was like that. I can hear a whole conversation from the outside, I swear to you. And I had the red brick dust in my truck, and I never touched it. I just looked at it. And I cannot take that picture in my head of what I seen and heard. And when I went inside there, I felt so uneasy. It was almost like these doors of secretive was closed, but they had openings for me to see. And it's almost like if it was something that God had them unease. It was like, like they were saying my heart was racing. That's what they said. But it was because God had them unease and was saying, get her out of there. Like God was saying, get the hell out of there. And ever since then, I know that God is not leading me wrong. I know that he's telling me it would never be you. But this person feels at home with you. But you would never feel at home with them. And that's exactly what God was saying. So go ahead and waste your time. But I'm not going to allow you to do it. And that's what he said. I will not allow you to do it. All right? It's like you are in a situation here that somebody is just feeling home with you and you know that's not right, but you it's like you you seem you don't know how to unwind yourself from this situation. And look at you. It's like, I don't know if somebody got tattoos on their hands or whatever, but it's a vibe. It's like you let the dog out, but the dog is saying, I don't know if somebody got um, like a touch thing to open up the door, but this is setting an alarm or something, but it's, it's, it's advising you to be careful. When you go out there because the mountains are there. And you see the mountain. You see a lot of green. And you see stones and all that. Pisces. It's warning you. you it's like you got somebody feeling very at home with you. But this person. And, and I'm telling you, you. You're comfortable. It's like you're comfortable somewhere that it's not. That you know. You already know. It's like you know, you know, you know. And they, nobody can tell you anything else. Now. You got, this is the card that was turned over there. Now I'm turning it over. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Let me tell you something. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't move. It stays. It sits there. It's like somebody going to the gym or something. And that bike, you riding that bike, right? You just riding on the bike. All, everything you riding on. It doesn't move. It just stays there and you're working on it. You're working on it, but it don't move. You can't take off with the bike. The bike sits in one place and you paddle, 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 and you sweat your ass. 
or whatever it is, machine you working or you working, 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 working, work, 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 right? You, it's like you working on yourself, but honey, it's showing you. It's honey, that bike is showing you. All right. Like, it, I don't know, Pisces, you, you starting off with this pinnacles, the, the queen, but the, the cup, the queen of cup is the love. It's like something here to say that you can work and you can work your ass off and you can do this. You, you, you going for this and you going to do it, but it feels like you feel like I'm working my ass off, but I can't move. It's not, I'm built. It's like God is saying, I'm going to build you. I'm going to build your muscles up, right? But you got this cup that you got a lot of love for. And you got this coin that's saying, I got to work on this. And I got to work. And God said, but this is a depth that I got for you for this, this workout that you're doing. But when it comes to love, you're going to have to make this decision, right? Because... It's almost saying you can work your ass off. You've been working your ass off. But is it moving? It's like you, you're working your ass off and you're giving, you're giving, you give. And where is the door that's saying, let's move. Let's move on. Let's move. Because the, you got the charity and I'm not lying. This shit is crazy. The charity is where you move. You're going to make that decision, right? You can work your ass off, but I need to get going. Because you want to take a leap of faith. You want to take a leap of faith on it, but you feel like you're hanging in there. But somebody feels real comfortable where they at with you. It's like they in your baby. It's like they in your crib living large, but they bored to death. And they, whenever they get a chance, they do what they want. They do what they want with you. The Queen of Cups, you're getting readings, and I'm, and it's somebody trying to tell you to get smart. It's like you do. It's like you can do whatever you want. You can, you can get, you can hit for the highest. But when it comes to love, I don't know, Pisces. How about this? How about make my life easier? And this is what I would say to you. I need a person in my life like God. All right? Somebody that's going to love me. Somebody that's going to nurture me. Somebody that wants the best for me. Somebody that I don't have to work my ass off and don't lean on me. Yeah. That I can lean on and they can take all the weight because that's what God did. He took the weight for you and carried that cross. He made that decision to bring his son down here to show y'all how painful my son had to go so that you can see how much he loved you. And honey, it's like you are bearing a cross for someone and no matter how much you show them, they get bored quick and they leave your ass with everything on the plate. To, it's like to, to clean the plate off to wash the plate, to put the plate up. Before that is to bring the fucking food, buy the food, go to the store. First of all, get in your car, turn the, 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 the car on, take your ass with your gas to the store. That's one. Go to the store, buy the food, pay for the food. That's another. Pay for it, the gas, the food. Then it's your time. Then come back to home. Right? Bring the bags in. Open up the door. Bring the bags in. Put the pans out. Put the oil on. Cook the food. Serve them the food. Clean that place off. Wash the dishes. Put the dishes up. Go to bed with them. And then they leave you. Because they get bored quick. Girl, that's too much going on. Now, look at this shit. I'm going to say it again. Then they leave you, right? That's what I said. The six of cup, your past, right? Look at this. You can't fix it. You tried and tried to fix it, 
but you can't. Right? Look at the picture. Remember, I told you, there it is. 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 It's like, I don't know who the hell you watching, and I don't know what they telling you. But I keep it real. Right? I keep it real. This person knows that you're about your money. This person knows that you are you very successful. This person can be successful. They can have everything to offer you, give you, but they don't. It's like every time they take you to the go start, let's go, they never finish. It's like they put you back again. <laughs> right? It's like I'm going to take you out to dinner. I'm going I'm to invite you here. I'm going to do this with you. But... You always get left broken promise because this person always have two cups standing. <laughs> you got more cups than a tilt over memories, past cups that make you think about everything. Right? Everything. But there's two cups that you always say, I know I've been through a lot, but I still got love for this person. I know. I need to go over there. I need to cross over. You can do whatever you want. You need to make up your mind. I don't know who I'm reading for, but you need to make up your mind, baby. It's just some people that, that it's there for a good time, and they there to play with you, and and that's what they, and you're going to always have love for them. But what you've been through with them overpowers everything that you can possibly. It's like you sitting at a dining room at a gourmet restaurant with a person that you've been through fucking hell and back. And you can't seem to get over the hell and back. Because you always got that time to get, but you don't go far because, girlfriend, look at this house. Look at this playhouse. Let's play house. On a daggone tree on a stick. Let's let's still play little games. Let's let's play. Let's reminisce about back then and all that dumb shit. That's what and, okay. Because I, I got something to give your ass. Right? I'ma always show you where you was. I'ma remind you. But you always got love for me. Ain't that some shit? All right. Now tell me more. Come on now. All right. The emperor. Pisces, you the shit. You the shit. If you get the right car, it means that you need to bring and get the male in you. The male, the strength that you supposed to get to earn what you need. And when you pick the right role. You said, I got it. I'm signing now on this. Because I made the right decision to go the right way. But only you know the right way. I, I, can't, I can't make you. I can take you to, to God. But I can't make you go into that door. Right? I, I can take you there, but I can't make you go in. Right? So, it's like. It's like somebody is showing you, you got two roads to go down. And I'm promising you this, the Queen of Pentacles, I'm promising you this, but you're going to have to make a decision. All right? And that's on you. The star. Pisces, a wish granted, a wish fulfilled. It's like you want this so bad. You want it. It's like, I'm going to tell you what. The stars, you may be dealing with Aquarius and this person, I mean, you can't get over this or they can't get over you. It's like they want you, right? But I'd rather choose God because God says, I got a billion stars up there for you. That ain't the only damn star. It's a billion stars up there for you, Lisa. 
You already taste that. You already been there. I already made you hear what you needed to hear. I made you go in that door. I made you sit down. You heard this shit on the intercom. They made you believe in something that it wasn't. But I got you the fuck out of there because if I didn't get you the fuck out of there, you would have ran into something. You would have ran into something, Lisa. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I took God's advice. And when my sister passed away, it was an eye opener and it's weird. And I'm going to say this to you. My son's father is an Aquarius. Right? My sister that passed was a Virgo and she wasn't a normal Virgo. All right? And this man was an Aquarius and you can't make that shit up. It was like it went from the hospital with my son's father to this. And my sister played a major part in it. And my sister passed away. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say another thing about this. My sister passed. It started in her house and she never woke up. She went from that bed to the hospital bed to death. Did you hear what I said? She went from her bed in the house to a bed in the hospital to death. She lasts nine days in the hospital breathing on her own. The whole time she kept was there, I kept telling, repent to God. Repent to God. Don't worry about us. Because you've been here. You know what's here. You already know this life. You lived it. Did you hear what I said? I said, you lift it. It's time for you to cross over and repent. I, and I said to her, when you get there, you will see me at the table of the archangels. You will say, I know her. Please don't. I can't get myself like this. Pisces, I don't know about you, but I know that I had an wake up and I just can't let it go. I can't let them go. I can't. I know that I'm somebody's star. I know that I am somebody's wish granted, but I choose God over this. I made the right decision. I did. I cannot keep going to the past. I cannot keep going through this. And I don't know about you, Pisces. I'm only telling you what I'm reading. I'm only telling you what God said. The Page of Pentacles, Pisces. God is laying out the foundation. And it's a fresh start. Right? It's a new path, but you got to choose it. Either you're going to choose this broken fucking past. Promises that never, never come true. Ever come true. Or you choose this. God is showing you the landmark. He shows you the landmark over and over and over. It's up to you, and I don't know what to tell you. You need to choose this. There's a lot. And I said, if you write the book on this history with this person, you will write novels after novels after novels because you've been through the same thing over and over and over and over. And some of y'all been through this shit over and over with people that you left, but the new people are over and over and over the same old shit. And some of y'all just can't get over the over and over and over and over and over. I don't know what the over is, but whatever the over is, you still have not learned a lesson. Okay? And that's the only way to put it. For some reason, you feel like, 
You got so much love to give, but who are you giving it to? What lessons are you learning from this? How much love can you give? How much can you create? How much can you build with someone that plays these games and don't bring you anything? If you can tell me what you built and what you got to show from this situation, what did you build with this situation? What do you still have to show from this situation? I will kiss your ass because I know for a fact you have not grown in no parts with this situation. And I know that for a fact. Now I'm going to say something to y'all. I don't know who I'm talking to. And I'm going to apologize if I hurt your feelings. Right? Because I don't sugarcoat nothing. Been there and done that. Another thing, get who you want to do your reading. I don't sweat nobody. Because whatever God has for me will be. You understand? And the followers that I have and the people that love me, love me. I don't hold nobody here. To stay. Because I'm raw. And this is a school of hard knocks. I told you where I stand. I told you where I stand. And I also told you the people. That I watch. I don't watch nobody unless you spiritual. I don't play these games. With these tarot card readers. That say this and that and that. I don't play games like that. Because. These are cards, but my life is real. Okay? These are cards, but my life is real. And I'm the only one that got to live it. Alright? You choose who you want. It's none of my business. I'm about growth. And when you leave this school, you leave right. You graduate. You, you leave here with doctor's degree. And what in your spirituality? Okay? That's what I'm about. All right, Pisces. I'll talk to you later. One love. Bye-bye.